Hi, I'm Li Hong. The topic of my research is simulation study of primary radiation damage of zirconium metal. The first part is background of my research. Zirconium alloy is has already widely used as colliding material for commercial pressurized water reactor. Its close packed hexagonal structure leads to irradiation growth under irradiation condition. And the, the Irradiation growth may lead the colliding top to stretch along the axial line and make the top touch with the top seat, uh, which may threaten the normal operation of the reactor. Well, here has an explanation of the irradiation growth. The primary radiation damage lead to generate generated the point defects, and the point defects gathered uh, to the dislocation or dislocation loop, and the difference distribution of dislocation loop leads the irradiation growth. Well, my research will focus on the simulation of primary radiation damage in zirconium. The left picture shows the process of primary radiation damage. Uh, the the neutron not with the the material atoms and the atoms leave uh, its lattice position and becomes a primary knocked on atom, uh, PKA. And the PKA knocked with other atoms and generated the cascade. The cascade will generate the point defects, uh, vacancy and the interstitial. The prof Professor Goffey's group has already uh, use the molecular dynamic method to simulate the primary radiation damage in the zirconium. Well, there, there are several disadvantages of MD method simulation. First, this method is really time consuming and expensive. So it's difficult to eliminate the accident errors of the simulation. In this way, I want to use a BCA model and the OKFC method to see uh, to see which method is better to simulate this process. The first part, the collision phase of the primary radiation damage uh, is, be simulation, is simulation, simulated by the BCA and the MC method. This is a setting information of my simulation. Uh, I use four different PK energy and uh, every Every PKA energy is simulated by uh, 1,500 times. The number of point defects are calculated and the region, and the region of cascade uh, is simulated. Then for the annealing phases of primary radiation damage, the objective, objective kinetic uh, Monte Carlo method are used. Also, in this phase, the number of point defects are calculated uh, and the results are compared with the uh, MD simulation and NRT method. Besides, the size distribution of self-interstitial atoms are also calculated. Uh, and the vertical of uh, and the vertical axial of the right picture is the ratio of the self interstitial gathered to the cluster. Uh, in our simulation, the ratio is much lower than the MD simulation. And the size distribution of vacancies are also simulated. Uh, in, this, in, in this picture, we can see temperature does not affect the formation of vacancy cluster. Uh, it, it is mainly because of the lack of a uh, thermal spike phase in OKMC method simulation. So my the conclusion of my, my research can be summarized as the first. After annealing, the point defect recombination rate of OKMC method is lower. And the proportion of interstitial atoms is lower than the MD method. And the proportion of vacancy is higher than that of MD method. The main difference are in the frequency frequency of the migration to thermal peak phases and the defects 
between two different simulation methods. That's all. Thank you.